All right, everyone. So here's my review of Rebel Without a Cause on 4K. This is the Steelbook version. It's a Best Buy exclusive. And it's incredibly good artwork, I'd have to say. I uh, think that, you know, Steelbooks, for the most part, not just lately, but for the most part, are kind of hit and miss with the artwork. But I think that Warner Brothers nailed this one. Okay, so let's open it up. There's an iconic photo of James Dean, nicely blended into their color scheme. I don't think there is a bad photograph of James Dean. On the back you have a lovely picture of Natalie Wood. The steel book itself has a matte finish on it. And the artwork really reflects how nice the film looks on both discs, the 4K and the standard Blu-ray. With standard Blu-rays, they move more away from the filmic look and favor a more saturated look. That's not to say the 4K isn't properly saturated and looks wrong. The reds and the yellows still look the way they should. It just looks more like the cell of an actual film negative than a piece of digital video. I don't remember Rebel Without a Cause ever looking really bad, though. So both the 4K and the Blu-ray look very, very good. But as I've mentioned before, the Blu-ray, of course, looks a little bit brighter. The standard Blu-rays usually look a little brighter than the 4K discs. 4K almost always looks a little darker. Now this disc has two options for audio. You have a Dolby Atmos track and you have a 2.0 audio track. I tend to favor watching a movie in its original form, but in this case, I think I kind of prefer the Atmos track. It's a little bit crisper and clearer and not as muddy. It really helps to bring out the full cinematic experience. Now there are a fair few features on this disc. I didn't watch all of them. There's a really good hour long Remembering James Dean feature from 1975. I liked hearing the stories there. I especially liked hearing uh, Sammy Davis Jr. talk. He knew him a little bit later on in, in his life. And then I liked hearing what Steve Allen had to say. There are also deleted scenes on here. Two kinds of deleted scenes. You've got color and you've got black and white both without sound and the reason you have that is because originally they wanted to film this in black and white but because they decided to use cinemascope the contract required them to use color i think this was a better option i don't think black and white would have really worked i know why they wanted to do it they wanted a bit more gritty real look but filming in color they made it look a little softer and a little bit more dreamy i think that masked much more i don't think i could stand this movie in black and white this movie needed to be in color now i hadn't watched this movie in a while and watching it again it really made me think of alfred hitchcock a lot and i was thinking if alfred hitchcock had made a movie about this subject matter it probably would have been like this it might have been this movie. There's just some shots and some compositions that are very Hitchcockian. The low angles, the way some of the wides are composed. There's some Dutch angles, very nice Dutch angles in here. And it has one of my favorite lighting effects too. It's natural. There's a moment in the mansion when we look down and we see Plato there with a candelabra. And it's quite dark. And then the candles just slowly come on and they start to illuminate his face. Whichever disc you watch, it's pretty, but in the 4K, it's very, very nice. So that's Rebel Without a Cause. In my opinion, an absolute masterpiece. I'm very glad that I bought it and I bought the Steel Book. The Steel Book is gorgeous. So if you pick it up, pick up the Steel Book. All right, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.